the once lush forests of Malawi, now left bare, screaming for cover. Since man discovered fire as a source of energy many ages ago, trees have known no peace. For Malawi, a country in southeast Africa, there is a steep price to pay for its failure to provide electricity to the bulk of its population. With a population of 17.5 million people, only just about 3 million live in the urban areas, the rest in rural areas. Of the entire population, only about 2 million are connected to the national electricity grid. The rest have no access to electricity, neither do they have access to alternative sources of energy for their daily needs, particularly cooking and heating. But life has to go on. Even if you live in a country like Malawi and you belong to the more than 15 million people who are not connected to the electricity grid, you need light, energy to cook, power for your electronic devices. As a result, more than 90% of Malawians resort to using wood fuels such as charcoal and firewood as an energy source. A staggering 62% of people using charcoal dwell in urban areas. It's a push for survival for these people. They are cornered. They need energy. They are not on the electricity grid, so they turn to charcoal made from trees. But charcoal use in Malawi is technically banned. So whose responsibility is it to ensure there is a steady source of energy for the people? The government? The ordinary person in the village? The forests of Malawi continue paying the price for this dilemma. The government has done very little to promote, encourage and make affordable alternative renewable sources of energy. Many households in the rural areas have no access to electricity and solar energy is an expensive alternative. Liquefied petroleum gas is also an expensive alternative in a country where the International Monetary Fund says more than 50% of its population lives in abject poverty. A hot tree brought down, reduced to charcoal, further to be burnt down into non-existence. On average, it takes about 12 kilograms of wood to make 1 kilogram of charcoal. Improved charcoal production takes about 6 kilograms to make 1 kilogram of charcoal. The demand for charcoal increases every year. These people derive their livelihoods from either making charcoal, selling it, or selling products associated with its use, such as the charcoal burner, locally called Mbaula. The Mbaula is a portable stove that allows the effective use of charcoal. Zalanyama Forest A mystical range of mountains that forms a natural frontier between Malawi and Mozambique on the western end. The name literally means full of animals. Well, no more. An area view of the once lush forest shows that the continued use of charcoal as an energy source has led to its demise. Although the annual deforestation rate had gone down to 1.6% in 2019, the country still has the highest deforestation rate in southern Africa due to its charcoal use. The Malawi government estimated that 3.4 million hectares of natural forest were being depleted at a whooping rate of between 1.6 and 2.8% per year. Most of the trees are used for charcoal production. The depletion of forests has led to many negative impacts, the most obvious being the increased susceptibility of the country to climate change. There is no end in sight for this rampant deforestation in Malawi. Charcoal use and production has created a whole economy 
providing a source of income for many of the country's poorest people. The charcoal trade is estimated to be worth 41.3 million US dollars per year. So you have people working in charcoal production, the middlemen who are mostly poor vendors and downstream charcoal stove makers cashing in on this. As the sun sets on a lonely afternoon in the warm heart of Africa, questions linger in the minds of many. Will the country remain warm under a thick forest cover? Or will its soils be left bare to suffer the harsh rays of the sun and be washed away with flash floods, taking down to the oceans what is left of the once beautiful and thick forest?